run up and then we gotta go oh right over here cool so that's the person in jail I see help you Pathfinder rider here to see Nilk and Rensis ah a murderer wife's here all the time guess she told you her sob story Nilkun, you're moving up in the world there's a Pathfinder wanted to chat with you Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. Uh, it doesn't know I'm here. I'm not here to exile you. I told your wife I'd look into things. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs, overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. Arguments happen. Last I checked, getting into a spat wasn't against the law. There's more. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the cat, and I, I guess I panicked and fired. A witness saw the chief's chest explode. Oh, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. That's awful. We were close. He was a stubborn son of... I admire that about him. But I was enraged when we argued. There's a recording. It's, it's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel yet. I'll review the evidence. Maybe I can find something that'll help. That would be great. You're a pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. Let's go speak with Kandros right quick. No news on the Turian Arc yet. Or is this militia business? Uh, murder case. I spoke with Nilk and Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. Isn't that quite a reach? It doesn't seem right to put all that on him. Of course it isn't, but that's the perception. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. And you didn't trust him? And you assume he's lying. What's a lie to a murderer? Look, knock yourself out. The key witness, Cassidy Shaw, works in operations. Go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console there. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Okay, let's check out this recording. Nexus versus Colonist Milken, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They've seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Milken. We're taking it back. No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to... No! Get him off me! Get him off me! That doesn't help his side. Hey, Cassidy. Cassidy Shaw? I'm Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh, man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the Chief. He looked wide at Nilkin and shouted, no. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock Where the cat there did you see any cat in the vicinity Nilkin said so but not that I could see still the sandstorm was severe visibility wasn't great did you agree with the chief 
Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. Why was the chief shocked? If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Fronts fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's the saddest part. The chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. Did Nilkin regret it? Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in. Thank you. I appreciate the information. Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tian wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. Tan, we need this to investigate this murder. Something I can help you with? The Nilkin murder charge. I'm looking into the Nilkin Rensis murder charge. And? I want to go to Eos and retrieve Chief Reynolds' body. That isn't usually Pathfinder business. First murder in Andromeda. And I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. Settling an outpost comes first. But I suppose I have no objections. Physical evidence will only bolster the case. I'm not sure he did it. I'm hoping it proves something else happened. This case has been a political nightmare. With all we've been through, the people need stability. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done. But if it sheds a different light, we'll deal with it. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. Thank you. That's all. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. I see great things in our future. I think that's all I can do for now on this journal. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to do that right now. Like that. Uh, Let's go speak with Sam on the Hyperion then. Let's see. Oh, geez. <laughs> oh, move that hot froze. I'm going to save the game right quick. to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Thank you. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. Okay, why the secrecy then? I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's me now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Oh. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. You could scare people. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. 
What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of He's AI, strong AI. directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. Well, that hurt. Okay. Well, just so long as it doesn't hurt. The only pain is that which life provides. As I've discovered, this can be a lesson in itself. It's one I'd rather avoid. So, where do we go from here? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Oh. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Since you can be... I like that. I like Infiltrator. That's cool. Okay. I can I can I can roll with that. Go to my ship. of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the first contact war. I see. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. The Noemi DSR2. <sighs> Memory trigger. Ah, I'm stuck. Sam, what was that? An eidetic trigger related to your father and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Sam Node on the Hyperion to investigate further. Okay. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. Uh, general logs. Milky Way departure. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, and then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. A uh, sorry, archaeologist? Liara! Sam, this is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. It could be useful in Andromeda. Pretty sure my sisters mentioned Dr. Tassoni. An expert on Protheans, I think. I have loaded Dr. Tassoni's research onto data pads. Number one. Hello, Alec. 
This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work, but I'm young and Asari, and they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. Yeah. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Message you? Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. Glad you didn't come along. Final entry. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Sarah. Dr. Tapero says she'll be fine, but she's my daughter. How can I not worry? I hate to leave her like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Oof. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are things you're going to find out. I hope you'll understand. Oh. Cryptid log one. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Two. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago, then went extinct. Even at the time of this writing, the year 2182, their culture remains a mystery. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope they may prove useful for the research community. Hopefully. I'm sure they will. <laughs> the coffee machine mom got for dad. He was so busy designing you, needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to him. <laughs> and now you know what humility feels like. <laughs> Uh, books. Printed books? Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders yeah. too. When studying a dead race, the most obvious problem is the lack of an observable population. This raises the question, when is a species truly extinct? The Prothean civilization spanned the galaxy, and it took centuries to confirm that all members of the species really had died out. While it's possible that living Protheans may be found in a hidden pocket of the galaxy one day, the chances are statistically trivial. Once an extinction is confirmed, the study's nature moves from sociology to exoarchaeology. Hmm. Cool, well I'm gonna go activate the Sam node right quick, see this memory. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your Oh implant. boy. Okay, something new every day. Uh, but I have more questions. What are you, what are your abilities? What are your capabilities? Each arc houses a SAM, simulated adaptive matrix. Each is an artificial intelligence designed by Alec Ryder to support Pathfinders and their teams. But AI is illegal in the Milky Way. How did my dad get around that? Exceptions were made. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our design was conducted in secret. Other SAMs? So there are other SAMs out there? Correct. However, your father continued to modify my own routines until the Hyperion's departure. 
I am the most advanced Sam in the initiative. Okay, what where, where are you located? I take it you're based here in Samno? Correct. This is where my core processing unit resides. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great distances. What more can you tell me about my mm -hmm. implant? The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do while in the field. This raw data enables me to provide real-time feedback and analysis of the situation. Then Dad added the secret sauce. You removed the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Just be careful, please. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything. Trust is an important concept in any relationship. Alec taught me that. I will not fry your brain. It would end badly for both of us. Me more than you. <laughs> Uh, how's my sister doing? Do you know anything more about Sarah's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlisle's reports. He is providing her with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this oh, time. Oh goodness. So this symbiotic relationship? What did you mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. A flower provides nectar to a bee, who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains nourishment and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, my own evolution was shaped by your father's experiences and will now expand. Oh, cool. Us. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. That's all for now. Of course. Except it's not. I want to do that memory right quick. Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Take the memory. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. An AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive. Yeah. But an AI? I agree. I agree with that sentiment. By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together, benefits both. Yeah. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. Helen, what did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. Oh no. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. What can you do about something that's terminal, man? Wow. Hearing mom again. I never knew that's how dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. <laughs> it's just his way. It's how dad was wired. He didn't like to lose, in any situation. It would seem that included me. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. Oh, okay. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. Goodbye. That's all for now. Of course. So back to our father's room. When studying an extinct race, it is important that our preconceptions and current knowledge not color the facts. We must look to the evidence itself. 
The Protheans constructed the Citadel and an incredible network of Mass Effect relays. This speaks to a culture of the yeah. highest order. Such a monumental achievement surely must come from an enlightened race that was in harmony with its people, free of conflict Don't think and so. strife. Without the ability to study a living example, however, this can never be determined with 100% accuracy. Your father's personal logs. Ellen's disease. Amazing how life can change in an instant. Suddenly my career doesn't matter. This incredible woman I've been married to all these years. She's facing the end. All I think about are the times I wasn't there for her. Well, that's going to change. It occurs to me that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Uh, let's go to the hype. Let's go to our ship then. We're on our ship. We're on the Hyperion. Not really on our ship. On the ship that was our father's? I don't know. Where are we going? The docking bay. Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? And final checks looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. That was weird. They call her the Tempest. Ooh, I like that name. That looks very good. I, I like the design of that ship. That looks very, very pretty. Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. <laughs> You're the one who's making everything happen. At least trying to. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. What's wrong? What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. Fair enough. Hold it, hold it. You're not going anywhere. Damn it. I didn't do it. Whatever happened, it wasn't me. I just got here. Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. Addison's gonna kill me. Smooth. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. I like her. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. 
initiate gain access to the tempest as you can see I'm not playing this much at all <laughs> that's a story achievement and I barely just got it I'm okay with that though But actually, we can hang out, hang out, hang. Yeah, we can hang out on the tempest for a bit. But yeah, I've got about twenty minutes left of stream. Everything state-of-the-art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Plus her crew, of course. The best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering Ooh. intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. This this mission this would be an adventure. It's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Got someone excited thinking, hey, maybe Joker's flying it, but then he realized, no, he's helping out Commander Shepard at the moment. Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. So yeah, this this is these seem to be long term. I don't think yeah, first murder, but that's it. Okay. Well, let's. The meeting room. You can make vid calls from the central table, or just get the crew together. Cool beans. We call this the research room. You can run Almost research one. projects Check and coordinate destroyed. with the Nexus from here. <laughs> I was worried there for a second. I thought bridge extend out or something. I didn't see the the glass bridge. Departure trajectory locked. Nexus control. Ah, time for introductions. It's Larian. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jeff. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Um, I'm still learning the ropes here. I'm new to this. Being a Pathfinder running a ship? You'll be fine. As for the ship, I can help. I knew the Tempest when she was a blueprint. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? Crossing galaxies is big too. We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. 
The Tempest is yours, unless you've got something to say for the log. We got this. Things seem bad, but we've already beaten the odds, and we'll beat them again. You know it, I know it. So let's show them what we got. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. That's so elegant. Oof. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. To Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to that idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. Oh, that's amazing. Can you actually take a screenshot of... Oh, my goodness. Uh, let me do something right quick. Uh, let's tr take that off track for the moment. Oh, goodness. Well, I'm going to drop a save here. And I think we're going to end stream just looking at this galaxy.